Guten Tag. It is episode 15. How you doing, Roderick? I guess Rod for short. He's, uh, I guess, incubating or something. So what are we doing this week? I think I'm going to take it kind of easy this week. I was really, like, forcing myself to, to finish that last episode. That I don't know. That, that candle shot it just didn't sit right with me. We're going to have to go back to that. But... I, I do need to go mining. That's what we're going to do today. So, like, it's it's Tuesday, right? Tuesday is usually when I do, like, monotonous stuff like mining and resource gathering. Then Wednesday, Thursday, I'll usually just build something. Something kind of small or cheeky. And then Friday, Saturday, that's when I really, like, hunker down and, like, build something. And then Sunday, I, like, clean up and edit try to upload for Monday, but usually I'm doing like last minute stuff Monday to, to actually finish the video. But like I really I really want to work down here a little bit and fix these boards because we've gone rogue so many times at this point. But this week I'm going to build these contour drawings after we mine. That'll be neat. We'll get to that. I might build like a boat out there. Let's come back to this after I like change it. And I wanna I wanna change around this this side too because I don't even use this anymore. Like I was trying to do like Thursday stuff, but like I had some technical issues and like my laptop is is at the point, man. Like it barely like records stuff without you know going in there and like extensively fiddling around with stuff. So I want to build a. Uh, a creeper farm out in the ocean this week too like the fourth of july it just turned june the fourth of july is right around the corner it's like hands down my favorite holiday dude it's so much fun um you know it's just drink some you know water i guess and and blow stuff up you know what what more could you want eat some food off of the grill it's it's awesome but I want to have like a stockpile of gunpowder so we can properly celebrate the 4th of July. I've I've built them before and like the ones I built, it was in, this was in bedrock. They they were really slow collecting. We'll probably work on some other farms too. But man, I'm I'm getting way ahead of myself. I don't want to, you know, promise the world. I said we were going to kind of take it easy. But uh yeah, let's uh let's go mine and see what we get. I uh I'm still on the quest for the emeralds. I am running a little low on coal actually surprisingly in iron so let's uh let's head into the mines see if we can't get another page in our miners book maybe we'll get an emerald who knows let's see where the day takes us so i found a pretty cool cave down here i usually don't bother to to record uh when i'm mining it's just really boring but it goes that way that way that way it loops around and goes back around that and, like i was mining just like some I don't even know what it was, but dude, like, look at the ravine. A straight up crevasse down there. But, like, this is my sec. I, I went back and dropped stuff off, and I, I came back down. I, I brought my bow back, but my, dude, I'm already getting shredded on my armor. Like, I don't have mending for this stuff, and I hate sitting at that zombie spawner to re enchant. I just, it's, I despise it, man. I need. Next time I go up, I'm going to grab some buckets too, because I, I do want to get some obsidian. Like, I totally forgot about that. But let's keep exploring. I mean, there's a lot of surface space here. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and finally get that emerald. We're at Y23. I've been keeping it at, like, 10 to 11. That's, you know, allegedly where emeralds spawn, but, like, let's explore. So, I had to go back and got, like, totally lost trying to get back to that big ravine, but I did stumble into a new... Oh, boom. <laughs> what do you know right there? Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky here and get an emerald. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Man, that's, uh... Dude, this, this armor, I'm like a tank. I'm like a walking tank. I've gotten... Like, they've got me low, like, once. That was my own, you know, stupidity. Dang. Pretty sure there's a chance for emeralds to be in there. Oh well. Keep exploring. Alright, so there was uh there was no joy on the, the emeralds, tragically. I did, you know. Did come out alright on, on the copper. Didn't get much gold. Got some iron. We really needed that coal though. Um I re-upped on my cobbles a bit too, but like the cool thing here is like I ran into a 
geo like i've been running into a ton of them and just like skipping them they're kind of a pain to mine out but i did mine that out and i left the crystal bud spawners so we we kind of got a new new block there that you meet those clusters and got a bunch of smooth basalt now too and calcite so we'll mess with that yeah we could go down there and build some kind of like farm with like platforms or something um so i was talking to my buddy and like that update drops i'm pretty sure next week that's that sounds right that's that's what he was saying anyway like i know it's in june but he he had just built a creeper farm himself and the update i think is gonna like change some kind of spawning mechanic I'm not sure, I'm just gonna hold off until until then. But that was gonna be a big like bulk of what I was gonna do. And I'm actually going out on Saturday, like all, all day, going on an excursion, gonna get some vitamin sun. So it'll be a light episode. So what are we gonna do instead of a creeper farm? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go mess with the soil soil lab. We're gonna build that up a little more and probably add in some kind of uh bone meal farm. So We'll be back over in Fertile Valley. We'll be over here. I might mess with that river and the bee. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. All right, here we are. I was dredging up the river some more. I got, I got some more bricks to throw on this thing. I think mixing some dye right in here will be good too. So we're, we're going to give this a bit of a facelift. I want to work on the top some more too. And we'll add in the, uh, the bone meal farm. We'll probably attach it over here. So, uh... Without further ado, let's uh, let's get to work on it. <laughs> All right, so uh, I've created this monstrosity. Well, <laughs> I didn't really create it. I was trying to follow uh, a guide to make like an automated kelp farm, right? And I was like halfway through this, and it was it was a bedrock guide so it, it didn't turn out well but i was like you know let's make it work the the short was actually the second tutorial um i was trying to follow the first one was also bedrock but i caught that but it's i don't know why you would make a, a minecraft tutorial in a short it was kind of tricky to follow and this just doesn't work at all it as soon as i flipped that lever the whole thing broke but honestly it's essentially like a like a bone meal farm is is just like that kelp farm we built underground so i'm gonna tear all this craziness down and just build one of those I, I i was trying to have something cool and new versus something we've already built but like i legit was struggling to find like a guide for some kind of bone meal farm you know minus like skeletons so oh geez that thing is terrible we did level this out some haven't really started working on this. I was trying to finish that because I want bone meal to just like so we, we can get dyes going so I can really start working with concrete. But hey, you live and learn. Um, the one thing I would really take away from this if you're following guides, which nothing wrong with that, make sure they're in the correct version, like the correct like client and version. You got to be really careful with that or you're going to end up wasting a lot of time. Okie dokie, we've... Uh... We've been working on the front here. I think it looks a little better. I, I really simplified it. There were so many different colors of like bricks, like deep slate, uh, smooth bricks, and, and all sorts of dude, like mud bricks. So we really streamlined it. We mixed some dye right in here and in smooth stone. I did I did finish this. Let me show you that real quick. It's, you know, I, I already showed a kelp farm down underground. We just added a composter on the bottom. See? Like, these are deceivingly slow? Is it, that sounds weird. So, this has been up for a while. There's only three bone meal. But remember, this is always going to be running in the background. I altered that a little bit. Not not much. Haven't, haven't worked on the front. Or, uh, not the front, the, the inside. Mainly been working on the front here. I need to get on the roof and really work on that. I've got a cool idea for that. And we're going to extend this out so it's not so cramped in there. Like, that that's one mistake I, I really made. Same same thing over here. Like, it's still kind of cramped. It's only like four blocks, but I don't know. We're going to keep uh, plugging along. All right, so I want some red concrete to, to put on top of here. And, like, I've, I've been doing this to, to try and get some red flowers. We're definitely going to have to set up some kind of, like, uh... 
It's like a, you, you, you dispense like bone meal down and you have pistons push the blocks. It's like a flower farm, I guess. So like, I'm actually about to, to go out for Saturday. I don't, I don't think I'll have time to, to build that this, this week. I, it's going to be all I can do to just get the, the roof on this, I guess. I still want to try and do the contour drawing out in the ocean. Um, that'll be cool. Like I'll do my best to get to it, but like, just watch this. See that that's that's no good. We need we definitely need to automate this. And it's just like I've not even gotten that many red flowers. That's the the dandelions, that's cool. We can we can use that for the beans. I wanna expand that bee farm. It's actually doing really good. I've got a ton of honey come over there. But yeah, uh let me farm up some flowers, man, and then we'll start working on that roof. So uh I'm wetting all this concrete powder, like look at this view, dude. Pretty cool. I dig it. I, I love that boardwalk, man. Little Harvest Valley down there. I want to build up, uh, I've been laying dirt out right here. That's another project. I really want to build this up because it's like Fertile Valley, right? But it's not really, you know, a valley. When I first like came over here, I was like, this is kind of like a valley. So we're, you know, let's, let's call it Fertile Valley. So I've slowly been building that dirt up. That's not natural. Like you, you really can't tell. But once, once I get it higher up, it'll, it'll be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. Fingers crossed. Should be cool. Should be fine. Should be okay. Yeah. So I went through a fair amount of bone meal to get those red flowers, and I think I got like 20. So we're actually going to work with some nether wart blocks too. I've never worked with concrete. Like, check this out. I like it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's see how this turns out. Check this out. I've been working on the like the roof up here. I was trying to make it like come and like curl down. I, I kind of got it working. Like I, I wanted to border it with that copper half slab. Just something, you know, because it's all just like a jungle wood roof right there. Just wanted to break it up and give it that nice border. But I think that little like that extra side right there, I don't like that. But this is like the second floor right here. That's that was gonna be a windmill, right? But like I was messing with like adding it on i was just playing around with shapes i'm sorry it's not gonna be cobbles i think dude because i want it right there so you can see it from from that side but it's like that off center is really messing me up i think what i'm gonna do i just wanted another windmill to see from over there besides that because you like i guess that's it kind of looks like a windmill but i wanted you know just more of a traditional one I think we're going to extend this out because this thing here, I've kind of got it like forward a bit. There's a lot of space in the back there, like on top. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And just we'll have the windmill facing this way towards harvest. Well, no, shoot. I'm going to have to mess with it. Um, come back to you. I, I like how the roof is coming along, though. <laughs> we got this all finished up. I mean, for for all intents and purposes it's it's done for this episode there's there's more i'm gonna do with this it's like right up on the this like the world border too like once we get stalactites i'll add a structure on this for it to drip down to like just auto make mud i read somewhere you actually can make clay like that so yeah there, there's more to do um look at the, the windmills right there it's it's like double-sided ah it, it, it does look weird. I probably will take this one down. The reason I was so like reticent to, to put this one here facing this way is like I'm going to build these up. You know, make it like an actual like valley right here. So it'll totally obscure any kind of view on this. But you can see it from the other side too. I think like that curl I was talking about. Like I took that other like line of, of copper wind just doubled down on top. I think it turned out all right. Not bad, not bad. I won't be getting to the contours this week. Like it, I was honestly lucky to get, you know, <laughs> as much as I did done. Cause like when I went out, like I, I usually get up pretty early. So like I had some time to play Minecraft before I even left. And then we, we came back on early too. So I had time to actually work on this. But uh, that's that's it for this one. Like the, the update I think drops Thursday. I think the 13th is what I read. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm not a reputable source for Minecraft news. 
what I'm saying though is, is next episode, about halfway through, we should have some new new update stuff. The tuft blocks, particularly, I, I'm like, um, I remember I was building Sword Mansion and I had read about tuft blocks. No, I saw one of the hermits messing around because they were playing on like a snapshot or something. And I thought tuft blocks were actually in the game, but uh, that's that's gonna be a really really good tool for our little toolkit. Um, but yeah, you know. Uh, we, we, we did some stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, tune in next week where we do some more stuff. Uh, <laughs> take care, guys.